The recent arrest of a notorious UK drug lord has sent shockwaves through the criminal underworld, particularly the infamous Kinahan cartel. In this video, we'll explore the reasons why this arrest is so devastating for the cartel and what it means for their criminal operations. Watch till the end and subscribe for more. Here we begin. If a drug dealer who owes a considerable amount of money to your corporation gets arrested, the money will likely be lost. This is precisely what happened to the Kinahan cartel when one of the UK's most prominent drug kingpins, Louis James Edward, was arrested. Edward, who was once one of the most wanted men in the UK, was recently apprehended in a police raid near Benidorm in Spain at the age of 44. He was accused of heading a criminal network that allegedly distributed cocaine throughout southern England. Edward's arrest was made by the Spanish Civil Guard, who were collaborating with members of Britain's National Crime Agency to locate him for his alleged involvement in cocaine distribution. The arrested drug baron owed the Kinahan gang boss a debt of 20 million euros, and his arrest meant that he would be unable to pay up. As a result, Mr. Edwards is currently in custody with his properties being seized and has no means of paying what he owes the Kinahan cartel, leaving them with nothing at present. The successful arrest of the 44-year-old Brit was the result of evidence provided by whistleblowers who provided information about the gang and their business dealings. According to the Spanish police, the search for a drug dealer named Edwards started on the Costa del Sol and ended in Alicante on Spain's east coast. Working with the UK's National Crime Agency, Spanish officers were able to arrest Edwards while following a visiting relative who led them to the hotel where he was staying. Meanwhile, the Kinahan cartel may no longer be able to face a 20 million euro debt write-off and is struggling to stay afloat. Raids on facilities and associates of the cartel have led to the seizure of drugs and cash in Ireland and the UK. This slow and steady process is aimed at causing the financial collapse of the cartel. In addition, the Kinahan suspect that an undercover agent or customs spy has infiltrated their organization and is feeding information to a massive money laundering investigation. The primary objective of dismantling the Kinahan organization is to serve as a blueprint for breaking down other cartels that have managed to survive despite the capture of their leaders. In collaboration with their international partners, authorities from the US and Europe have been working tirelessly for years to bring down the Kinahans penetrating their corporate structure at every level. The Kinahan cartel, which oversaw a drug operation estimated to be worth around 1 billion euros by U.S. law enforcement, can no longer keep its inner workings hidden, and its business interests are no longer secretive. They used to pride themselves on remaining under the radar. Initially, a reward of $5 million was offered for information leading to the financial disruption of the Kinahan Organized Crime Organization, or the arrest and conviction of any of the three men. Additionally, the U.S. Treasury imposed multiple sanctions on the cartel. U.S. banks and companies have also been prohibited from conducting business with the three men or any of the other individuals associated with the cartel. The Kinahan gang has been involved in clandestine activities for decades, and although not all members have been apprehended, their end is drawing near. The gang has been compared to other notorious cartels such as Italy's Camorra, Mexico's Zetas, Russia's Thieves-in-Law, and Japan's Yakuza. Although Daniel Kinahan remains hidden away in Dubai, he can no longer claim to be a legitimate business owner, but rather a crime lord. The arrest's significance is tied to the amount Mr. Edwards owes the gang and the amount of disruption the gang has experienced since their first publication. Apart from being unable to conduct business as a legitimate businessman, Daniel Kinahan can no longer claim to be just a boxing promoter looking out for the best interests of his fighters. Several months ago, Kinahan was photographed against Rai Tai Mo Kanbati, a provincial minister for sports and youth affairs in the government of Punjab, Pakistan. Kinahan attempted to portray himself as a legitimate businessman who meets with politicians and is trying to save the sport of boxing. However, high-profile sports figures were urged to think twice about supporting Kinahan. Commissioner Drew Harris specifically asked legitimate boxing firms to consider whether they wanted to be associated with him. Reports have indicated that the criminal gang has been trying to move as much money as possible, but another blow has been dealt to their primary money handler. It's not just the Kinahan family that is in trouble. It's the entire network of alleged money launderers and enforcers. Some of the other individuals implicated including Ian Thomas Dixon, accused of overseeing drug-related payments to the organization. 
Sean McGovern, accused of being a close advisor to Daniel Kinahan on all criminal activities and managing its communications. Bernard Clancy, accused of being a key organization member who distributes wages and payments for the organization, and John Francis Morrissey, accused of money laundering and serving as the organization's enforcer and facilitator of illicit drug shipments from South America. Morrissey has already been arrested. According to the UK's National Crime Agency, the recent conviction of Thomas Cavanaugh, a senior figure in the Kinahan crime group, who was sentenced to 21 years for importing significant amounts of drugs into the UK, has helped to curb violence. The NCA's Deputy Director of Investigations, Matt Horn, stated that they target the most violent criminals who cause the most harm, exploit the vulnerable and dominant communities, and the Kinahan crime group falls into all of those categories. The group has been distributing multi-million pound shipments of drugs across Ireland, the UK, and mainland Europe, engaging in firearms trafficking and money laundering. However, the recent blows dealt to the group have cut them off from the global financial system, making them toxic to legitimate businesses and financial institutions. This will likely cause other criminals to think twice about doing business with them. Attention is now focused on the UAE, where Kinahan has been residing since fleeing Spain several years ago. The police have promised to work with other agencies to bring Kinahan to justice, but he is currently evading persecution. It is now clear that this is a significant day for the Kinahan crime group, and their attempts to smear the media as liars have failed spectacularly. They can no longer hide behind their ludicrous claims of innocence. According to Underworld sources, the police in Dubai have not yet taken action against the Kinahans and their associates. Some sources claim that Daniel Kinahan has already left the Emirates and is now in Oman. Others say that he, his father, and brother remain in the Emirates, hoping to continue enjoying the safe haven they have settled in for years. Initially, it was stated that the investigations into Edwards had begun in Malaga, but agents on his trail followed the alleged cocaine boss to Alicante. Working with the NCA, civil guard officers were able to get closer to Edwards by tracking his relatives' movements in the area, leading them to the Benidorm Hotel where he was arrested. Corvette was caught after a collaboration between Spanish and Dutch police forces who tracked him down to the province of Alicante. Notably, the 35-year-old had been arrested on three previous occasions under different fake identities, twice in Alicante and once in Barcelona. Officers were able to track him down again after a period of intense surveillance and arrested him upon deducting that he was using the fourth, new fake identity. The Dutchman was apprehended while having breakfast with friends. Video footage of the arrest shows him attempting to escape through a cafe. He is wanted in his native Netherlands for attempted murder, with Dutch police pursuing him for his alleged involvement in a revenge shooting during a gang war where two people sustained serious injuries. There is no information yet on the likelihood of either man being extradited to their home country, nor any details on the potential length of their prison sentence. Whether the UK will seek to extradite Edwards so he can be handed over to British authorities remains to be seen. So what do you think of the arrest of a UK drug lord? Comment below and make sure to subscribe for more.